Center. And that's where Eyewitness News reporter Mark Rivera is joining us live. Mark? Alan and Stacy, everyone that we're talking to, friends and family, are all saying they are so thankful that this wasn't worse because the most severely injured person has a broken jaw and a severely broken leg and was airlifted here to University of Chicago Hospital. Many of the injured in various unions, pipe fitters, iron workers, etc., their representatives here on the scene of the hospital telling us their people will be okay after this horrific explosion. Lightning fast reaction from first responders as they work to get two people trapped under all of this rubble out. One iron worker entombed under thousands of pounds of rubble, trapped for over two hours, pinned to a large beam after that methane gas explosion. Firefighters tunneling 40 feet through debris just to get emergency workers in. We sent two paramedics down uh, from the rescue teams that started tending to them immediately. They started an IV on them. We were in control with the University of Chicago. We medicated that patient because we were concerned about a collapse injury, and then he was removed back to University of Chicago hospitals via the UK helicopter. Emergency responders say the severely injured victim is able to move all of his extremities and is answering all questions appropriately. The special operations chief on the scene, as you heard, was working with U of Chicago Hospital on the line with EMS trying to treat the victim. They thought they were going to have to amputate his leg initially, but they were able to get him out without having to do so. Now, we know at least one injured has been released from an area hospital. No word yet if any of those that are here at University of Chicago will be released later tonight, but everyone is expected to be okay. Reporting live at University of Chicago Hospital, Mark Rivera, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Back to you in the studio. Yeah, so encouraging, Mark, especially when you see the damage to that building. Thanks so much. The special prosecutor.